go from this to something nicely painted and matched to your car that looks like this. Hi there, this is Eric on Riggs Garage and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on repainting a body part for a car to match. So today I'm fixing a friend's minivan a mirror. I'm sure you can assume uh, that it was damaged in some terrible way by children. But anyway, he got a new one from the junkyard. It's the wrong color. So I'm going to make it the right color and show you what I do to make that happen for him. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. And uh, there's more coming this way. Thank you. All right, here's a subject. The van it's going on is a dark purplish blue. This one's obviously silver. So the first thing I did to prep this is I took it to my sink, a clean rag that's never seen grease or any other nasty stuff before. So degreased it with Dawn dish soap. Step two, I wet sanded. I wet sanded this factory coat with 400 grit. So I got the whole thing done. I unscrewed this base, kind of left it dangling by a wire so I could get underneath, underneath here where you can't sand. Uh, so I get good grit. After I wet sanded, the next thing I did was uh, tack cloth to remove any uh, residual dust or anything like that. And then I shot around, shot around these areas here. I let that dry to the touch and then I screwed the pedestal back on here. So that way we do have really good paint down in here and no horrible tape lines that are going to flake later in the future. Like a boss, I did touch the paint here um, with my glove because I was holding it up and shooting it. So I just hit that again with the sandpaper. Now I need to tack this again and get ready for a final coat. I'm going to go ahead and tape this as well. So this is going to work with any body part. You could do anything from a bumper uh, to a louver. I know Mustang people do louvers. Uh, you could do a spoiler like this. You could do um, a door handle. All those different things. I have masked this part that I'm not painting. The next thing I did is I found a position on my sawhorse here where the part could stand upright where I could let it cure. Um, always do that before you have this all wet so you don't have to figure out how to stand this thing up when it's curing. So already have a plan in action where you're going to set it so it can cure between coats and for the final curing. I'm going to be shooting with this single stage. That means it's not base coat, coat clear coat. It's all in one shot. Um, custom mix that I just provided the Honda um, paint code to O'Reilly and they mix this up in a can in about an hour. It doesn't appear to have any helpful directions on it. So what I'm going to do is uh, do a light coat to start with pretty much like anything. And then I'm going to wait five to 10 minutes, let that flash, and then shoot a medium and a heavy coat, probably be about three coats in with five to 10 minutes between each to let the paint kind of set up. And we'll go from there. Since it's a cooler day out, it's like 55 degrees, I went ahead and warmed up this can of paint in the sink of water. So I just put like three inches of warm water in the bottom of the sink, set this in there for five minutes while I set everything else up, and that warms it up. So next thing I'm gonna do, Next thing I'm going to do is give it a good shake. When you're ready to shoot, make sure you have uh, good protection for your lungs. Uh, this is a basic respirator, I think from 3M. Definitely worth the investment. Go ahead and get one because this stuff is very poisonous. I'm going to go ahead and lay down my light coat now. You'll see that I'm using full strokes off the part, start spraying on, and then stop spraying off the part as well. That lets your coverage be very uniform, okay? Here's coat one. You can still see some of the base coat through it, no problem. I 
I just tried to cover every portion of it, including up in here, inside the mirror. Now when you sand, always make sure you sand all these nooks and crannies, because if there's not good sanding, you're gonna have trouble with adhesion. So make sure you get up around in here, nooks and crannies on whatever car part that you're working on. I'm gonna let this flash for a couple more minutes. All right, coat two, starting to cover a lot better. There are a few spots where the base coat's poking through, but not very many. This is also the time you're gonna be looking for any strange reactions, like if you didn't degrease it well. Bubbling of paint, wrinkling, really, really crazy orange peel, where your paint looks like an, the peel of an orange, stuff like that, that's when you wanna stop. So far, this looks great. Now you'll notice I wore these gloves. I'm probably gonna pick up the piece here and be able to spray down in here without just spraying my hands. I don't have to worry about that, but I might have a look in here and spray while I hold it. All right, after coat three, starting to look better. I noticed the fan pattern on this spray can. You gotta get pretty close or else the, the pattern's really spreading out and drying before it hits. It's gonna give you a really textured finish. So you gotta get pretty close and lay it on pretty wet. So my fourth and final coat, I'm probably gonna shoot up close, up close and personal and really, really hit this. You can see there's still silver paint in places behind the mirror here. So you wanna hit that, just in case somebody adjusts it far right and sees that. Here we are after coat four. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna wait about an hour, uh, let this paint cure a little bit to remove the tape before the paint is fully cured so it doesn't rip off chunks when I take the tape off. All right, here's the final product. Turned out pretty well. Now this is not a bodywork video. I didn't go and fix every nick and blemish on here. You can see there's one big one there. Otherwise there are a couple little nicks from hitting stuff at speed. But this is a really good way to, on a budget, make something match your current car and it's gonna look good. And people aren't gonna notice that this has been spray painted. Hopefully you guys find this video useful. If you liked it, hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate your time.